Paul, you can uh, start your start the opening prayer. Okay. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come before you today to thank you and praise you for the gift of life. We thank and praise you for your love that is flowing in us. We thank and praise you for all the difficulties and struggles we face each and every day. Lord, your word says, cast your burdens unto me, for you care for us. Today, Lord Jesus, we surrender our sister Florita into your hands. Lord, let every word that comes out of her mouth, Lord Jesus, be simple and easy for us to understand, Lord Jesus. Bless her, anoint her, and fill her, Lord Jesus, continuously, Lord, with your Holy Spirit. Let her Sorry. Let her words be instrumental in our lives, Lord Jesus, and help us, Lord Jesus, to understand everything, take away all distractions, and help us, Lord Jesus, to be focused on your word being spoken by our sister. Take away, Lord Jesus, anything that is not of yours. We ask you in the name of Jesus, in your name, Lord Jesus, to cut off all distractions from us. And we ask you, Lord, to fill us with your knowledge, your wisdom, your, un your wisdom and understanding. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us the mind of Christ and the wisdom of God to be with us. The spirit of the Lord is upon each and every one of us and God's wisdom and understanding is upon us. We make this prayer through Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Paul. Thank you, Sister Paul. Yes, Sister Florita. Okay. Sister, you will share the screen for the yes, scripture? Yes, 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 yes. I will share the uh, screen, uh, Sister. Okay. There? Sister Florita? Yeah, yeah, sister. Uh, yeah, yeah. Which, yeah just okay, put, you want? put uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 30. 1 Corinthians? Chapter 1 verse yeah. 30. 3 zero, yeah? Yeah. Can you see the screen? Just put the KJV version system. Oh. Can you see it? Yes. Yeah, please read it. 1 Corinthians 1.30 But of whom are you in Christ Jesus? But of whom are you in Christ Jesus? Who of God is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. Praise God. Okay. Now, uh, when God uh, gave us the new covenant, right when we yes. enter into the new covenant yes. this this new covenant is a covenant of grace yes okay it's a covenant of grace and when god uh, released the new covenant of grace he uh, he did not send us uh, you know uh, the laws like how he did last time through moses mm -hmm. Okay, he yeah. did not send us, uh, you know, the laws, but what he sent was his beloved son, mm. Jesus. Yes. Okay, so the blessing, every blessing of God is found in the person of Jesus. Yep. Yeah. Okay, please write it down in yes. bold capital letters. Yeah. Your every blessing is found in the person of Jesus. So, so it's a bit slow, sister. Okay, your every blessing. Every blessing, yeah. Is found. Is found. In the person of Jesus. 
in the person of Jesus. Okay, so so what does that mean? It means that whatever blessing you need, okay, uh -huh. whatever blessing you need, whatever you desire, every blessing, every desire of yours is in the person of Jesus, is found in Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so, so for example, if you need help, if you need uh, provision, if you need uh, deliverance, if you need wisdom, everything is found in the person of Jesus. Mm. So, in other words, when, when we, when I, we entered into the new covenant of grace, grace is a person. Grace is a person. Yes. Okay. Yes, sister. Okay. Grace is a person. It is not some... Now, now, sister, when you read... Now, let's say I ask you. Sister Lavi, what is the meaning of uh, grace? Mm. What will you tell me? What is the definition of grace? Uh, I, actually, I know about it, but can't get it now. Okay, anyone else? Anyone from the participant? Yeah, anyone from the participant who knows? Unmerited favor. No, I had I had given you all the definition. Uh, which you are not deserve, which you don't deserve. Okay, which you don't deserve, that is incomplete. It's half correct. Grace that you don't deserve. Okay, come on, write it down once again. Yeah. Write down. Grace means God's willingness. God's willingness yeah. to use his power. Yeah. His ability. Yeah, it's yeah. God's, God's willingness to use his power, his ability on my behalf, even though I don't deserve it. Even though I don't deserve it. Yeah. Okay. Can you all please learn that very quickly? I'll, I'll give you all five minutes. Please memorize this definition. So I will give you five God's, minutes. God's willingness to use his power, his ability. On my behalf. On my behalf. Even though. I don't deserve it. Even though I don't deserve it. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm going to give you all five minutes to just memorize this uh, definition. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to be back in five minutes. Yeah. Okay. Everyone by, learn it by heart. Sure. Give us sister. Praise God, everyone. Everyone has finished by, um, memorizing it. Finished memorizing it? Nearly. Ah. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. I've, written, I've written it down, so I'm hoping. It, it was. I, I have written, but all I, all I remember is what Brother Johnson says, what you don't um graces that you don't uh, deserve but um you know example what uh, brother johnson used to give us the teachers um the teacher which gives you marks i don't know whether you all remember that uh, what brother johnson grace says marks. the grace marks right sister yeah yes yes uh but this, uh, I've heard about grace this. marks is given to those who are falling short, not to falling. those who are not those who are already. In yes, the exactly. Level. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. 
Discord. Meanwhile, um, what do you think that, uh, did you get that um, what Sister Florita was talking about? Um, is that wisdom? He, she said that it is a person? No, I said grace is a person. Grace is a person. Grace is a person. Okay. Now, Papa has, Papa has always taught us uh, saying grace is, grace, yeah, grace is undeserving. We don't undeserving. deserve it. Correct. Yeah. Yes. So, yes so, yes, sir. But what is, what is the definition? The definition, the meaning of grace is two important things. Okay. The word willingness over there, God's willingness to use his power, his ability on my behalf. The second important part of grace, the, me the meaning of grace is that God is willing to use his power. And second, even though I don't deserve it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, yes. so, so that means that means when you read in the scriptures where the word of God says Christ died for us while we were yet sinners, right? Yes. So, what is that called as? Christ died. That's also a grace, no? That is a grace. It's also great. Yes. Okay. okay. That is grace. Means what? God was willing to use His power, mm. His ability. He was willing to forgive us. Even though we did not deserve it. Mm. Yes. Okay. And what is the meaning of mercy? Mercy. Mercy means God not giving me what I deserve. God not giving me, me what, I, what don't, I deserve. What I deserve. Okay. What I deserve. Okay. For example... I deserved punishment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But God did not give me that. Okay. Okay. I deserve punishment for my sin. I deserve eternal separation from God from, for my sin. But God did not give me that. He forgave me instead. So that is called as what? Mercy. God Mercy. not give me what I deserve. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, yeah. So God did not only give uh, God, not only uh, gave me mercy, but he extended his grace also towards me. Mm -hmm. Okay. In other words, God did not punish me. He forgave me of my sins. That is, which is, which is by his mercy. And he went an extra step ahead and covered me with his grace by making me right before God. Are you understanding? Yes. Sir. So now coming back to the definition of grace, what did you learn? Please say without seeing uh, the definition. God's willingness. Hmm. God's willingness to use his ability, uh, power and ability. Hmm. On my behalf. Correct. Um, even though I don't deserve it. Very good. Okay. Now, God's power, God's uh, willingness to use his ability, his power on my behalf, even though I don't deserve me, that is the meaning of grace. Now, we learned that grace is a person. Mm. Okay. It's not some, uh, it's not some doctrine and, and all that that we have always heard. You have you might have always heard people say, uh, you know, I'm I'm good by the grace of God. Yes. Right now, now we use the word grace without even understanding the uh, uh, the 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 complete true definition. Meaning. Yes, the true definition of it. Yeah. Okay, so so grace is in fact a person, and that person's name is Jesus. Oh, okay, okay. Remember the scripture says. Uh, you know, the, the, the law came by Moses. Yes. But grace and truth came by Jesus. Yes. And Jesus is full of grace. Jesus is full of truth. In other words, Jesus is not only full of grace, but Jesus is grace. Mm -hmm. John 1, Jesus, 17, sister. Yes, yes. In other words, Jesus is not only full of truth, but Jesus is the truth. That means every uh, 
blessing, the source is all is found in the person of Jesus. It, in other words, what it means is, sister, every blessing that we would ever need is in Jesus. It cannot be separated from the person of Jesus. Mm. Okay, which means that if uh, if someone says, you know, I love Jesus, I believe in him. Okay, and uh, that person says, uh, I need this blessing. Okay, now, even though the person is saying, I love Christ, okay, but does not have anything to do with his word, then mm. that love is a fake love. Mm. Okay, the person has not understood the true meaning of love. The person has not understood who Christ is, who love is. Okay, and that person is only going after God for the blessing. That's why you will see so many times, even in our life system, did mm. we not also start like this? Yes, definitely. We That's all perfect. came to Jesus for one reason or the other. Yes. Some of us needed a healing. Some of us needed a breakthrough. Some of us, we were in need of something. Yes. Okay, and, and we began to follow Jesus uh, we began to uh, pray to him just so that we could get our problem solved, just so that we could get blessed. Mm. Okay. And when the answer for that problem came, when the solution was given, when God got us out of the problem, we forgot the one who brought us out. Yes. Happens Till we landed well. into another, day, uh, another pit and yes. then we began to cry out to God. Yes. So, according to God's uh, principles, according to the system that God mm. has set, the, uh, the, the blessing, every blessing that you and I need is in the person of Jesus. Mm. Okay, now I want you to read the scripture once again with this understanding. But of him are you in Christ Jesus who of God is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. Okay. But of him are you in Christ Jesus. Of whom? Of God. God. Okay. Now God has united us in Christ Jesus. Hmm. Clear up till there? Yes. Yes, sister. That means sister Lavi, you and everyone have been united by God the Father in Christ Jesus. That means today you and Christ are one. Yes. Okay. Who? Now, this Christ with whom you are united, this Jesus who of God is made unto you wisdom. Hmm. In, so, so in other words, what he's saying is, Jesus is made unto you wisdom. If wisdom is something that you need, then God has made Jesus to be your wisdom. Wisdom, okay. If righteousness is something that you need, then God has made Jesus to be your righteousness. Mm. That's why you, you, say, you see the word says, we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Okay. In other yes. words, if you need holiness, Jesus, God says, I have made my son Jesus to be holiness, holiness for you. For me, yeah. In the same way, God has made redemption for us. He has made redemption. Uh, sorry, He has made Christ as our redemption. Yeah. Okay, so so the way the way to understand this is that Jesus not only gives us wisdom, Jesus not only makes us righteous, Jesus not only uh, sanctifies us or makes us holy, Jesus not only redeems us, but Jesus is all of this. He is my wisdom. He is my righteousness. He is my holiness. He is my redemption. Are you clear up till here? Yes, sister. So we, re, redemption is like um, saving. Yeah. Redemption means being justified. Justified. Yes. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Found not guilty. You have been redeemed. Okay. Okay. So yes. what what you see over here? Wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, redemption, health, healing, provision, supply. All that. All these. These are not just things or gifts that God gives you. God gives you Jesus. Mm. God gives you the very source and everything that you need to live in this life, everything you need to live a godly life, God has already given it to me in the person of Jesus. So if I have Jesus, I've got everything I need. Yeah. Got praise it? God. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Now, now. let's let's go to uh, proverbs chapter 6 and verse 13 sister can i have i ha- can i ask a question sorry yeah yeah please so uh, one uh, minute sister. one minute i think sister sister lavi it's not uh, it's okay, not six No, no, no. Wait. Proverbs three sixteen. Sorry. Yes, yeah, sister Sheetal, go ahead. Sister, why did you say grace is a person? I am not clear with it. Because, uh, grace. What What did you understand by the meaning of uh, the word grace? Um, uh, like I don't deserve. whatever the definition which me. i just gave did you learn it yes 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 god's Tell willingness me. god's willingness to give his uh, power authority and ability on my behalf even though i do not deserve okay now did we all deserve uh, forgiveness no mm-hmm. no did no, we did we deserve no. did we deserve uh, righteousness right standing with god no no but did we receive it yes so who 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 gave us forgiveness jesus because of jesus the blood of christ yes the blood of christ the blood yes. of christ washes us of every sin of every guilt yes the blood of jesus makes us righteous and who shed the blood jesus which person shed the, shed the which, which person shed the blood jesus shed jesus the blood shed the blood so what is was god was god willing to use his power his forgiveness on my behalf even though i did not deserve it yes yes that means according to john chapter 3 verse 16 did god send his only begotten son into this world Yes. Why? Because he loved the world so much that he gave his only son. Gave his only begotten son. Yes. So, in other words, how did God give me grace? God gave me grace in the person of Jesus. That's why okay. when Jesus came, grace and truth came with him. Yes. Is that clear, Sister Sheetal? Yes, Sister. Yes, yes. I got it. Yes. Okay, praise God. Yes, yes. That Thank was you, very sister. clear understanding, um, Sister Florita, because I'm I'm looking at that say the sentence what you to- said. Grace is a person, and yeah, grace is a person because the grace came through from God through Jesus and gave it to us, which means Jesus is a person, and He yes. gave it to us. Yeah. So that is why that- yes. that's why sister i uh, that's why sister we insist on learn on learning the definitions of these uh, yes. of these truths so important without missing it because if you don't get this you know you you end up with a lot of uh, confusion you yes. won't yes. understand the simple things that christ has done yes that's Thank why it's very important yes. to learn these uh, meanings to study these meanings Okay, now okay. Let let's continue. Now, see what uh, read what Proverbs three sixteen says. The length of days is in her right hand, 
and in her left hand riches and honor okay now this is being spoken of whom of wisdom yeah yes yes okay so length of days in in her right hand that means what wisdom has got two hands yes according to uh, the script uh, right yes 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 length of days in her right hand and her riches yes. and honor in her yes. left hand left hand yes okay so so grace is like we learned grace is a person okay in the same way in 1 corinthians 1 30 we read what god has made jesus unto me what unto wisdom mm -hmm. jesus is made wisdom unto me hey, come on don't we learn don't we read uh, memorize the scripture confess the scripture concerning wisdom and guidance yes in that the scripture is written jesus is made unto me wisdom righteousness sanctification and sanctification redemption and redemption see we say the scriptures but we don't even understand yes so true if if i don't understand the scripture and if i'm speaking it without understanding it has it has just become a mere repetition so jesus is made unto me wisdom now what is the word of god saying over here which length of days is in her right hand and left hand riches and honor so bible according to the bible wisdom is said to have what two hands yes 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 okay now now we all want wisdom don't we yes so when we when we look at wisdom for us the understanding of wisdom means a solution to a problem yes but have we ever seen wisdom as a person of jesus person. yes no 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 if Not if we had if we had ever seen wisdom as a person we would we would we would stop going and asking god god give me wisdom what to do in this situation god give me understanding mm -hmm. i would rather be saying thank you jesus in this present hell in this present situation you are my wisdom and i have perfect knowledge of this situation i know exactly what i need to do because you are made wisdom unto me and you your wisdom i i and now by faith i'm drawing that wisdom out into my uh, human understanding yeah okay now the word of god says length of days is in her right hand and left hand riches and honor now i want you to go to one scripture and uh, one more scripture in deuteronomy and we will see this uh, uh, proverbs 316 explained even more clearly go to deuteronomy chapter 30 and read verse 19 and 20 Can you say, sister? Yeah, yeah, clear. Deuteronomy thirty nineteen and twenty. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live, that thou. mayest love the lord thy god and that thou mayest obey his voice that thou mayest cleave unto him for he is thy life and the length of thy days and thou mayest that thou mayest dwell in the land which the lord swore unto thy fathers to abraham to isaac and to jacob to give them okay now this is what god is telling to the children of israel okay he is saying i call heaven and earth to record this day against you that i have set before you life and death okay now god has set before us life and death blessing and cursing 
and then he says therefore choose life now sister the uh, the instructions the commandments whatever god uh, has given uh, given to us he has left the choice to us to decide which one i want to choose because yes. we are created in his image and we have the freedom to choose just like god has yeah okay so if if i make the wrong choices if i make the wrong decisions then i can then i cannot blame god for the uh, consequences that i see in my life yes that's why the word of god is very clearly saying i have set before you life and death blessing and cursing and uh, uh, in case if you don't understand what to choose he says he goes ahead and makes it even more clearer he says therefore choose life yes that both you and your seed may live that you may love the lord your god and that you may obey his voice and that you may cleave unto him for he is your life who is my life jesus jesus god is my life right yes he is my life he not only gives me life but he is life is it getting clear now yes sister okay everybody, see what everybody is... like just i'm checking with participant everybody is understanding okay carry on sister okay yes. yes, sister okay here he says that you may cleave unto him for he is your life and the length of days who is the length of my days god god jesus is the length of my days so in other words sister length of days is not something uh, is not some number that gets added are you understanding oh yes amen but amen. length of days is a person yes yes sister the lord is your life and the length of days Amen. Is it clear now? Yes, yes, very much. Now, what did we learn in Proverbs three sixteen? Just go back. Length of days in a right hand and in a left hand, which is an honor. So, length of days is who? The person, right? Yes. yes. Jesus, and Jesus is also wisdom. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Yes. Sister. Okay. Length of days is a person, and this person is who is Jesus. Jesus. See, we 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 think, sister, uh, length of days, uh, riches and honor. These are uh, these are the uh, blessings that we need, right? Mm, yes. To solve our problem. Yes. but according to the word of god this is uh, you know this blessings is all found in the person of jesus mm. you need length of days you need a long life jesus is your long life yes you you need healing jesus not only gives you healing but jesus is your health so when i have jesus in me when my mind is focused on jesus when i'm when i'm in the presence of jesus i my whole body is experiencing health my body soul and spirit is experiencing health are you understanding yes sister okay let's let's look at another uh, let's let's look at an example okay go to 1 kings chapter 3 the verse sister the from the first verse onwards we'll read one kings 
And Solomon made affinity with Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and took Pharaoh's daughter and brought her into the city of David. Until he made, until he had made an end of building his house, his own house, and the house of the Lord, and the wall of Jerusalem round about. Only the people sacrificed in high places, because there was no house built unto the name of the Lord until those days. And Solomon loved the Lord, walking in the statues of David, his father. Only he sacrificed and burned incense in high places. And the king went into Gibeon to sacrifice there. So that was the great high place. A thousand burnt offerings did Solomon offer upon that altar. In Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night, and God said, Ask what I shall give thee. And Solomon said, Thou hast showed unto thy servant David, my father, great mercy, according as he walked before thee in truth and in righteousness and in uprightness of heart with thee. And thou hast kept him, kept for him this great kindness that thou hast give, given him a son to sit on his throne as it is this day. Okay, now read the ninth verse. Give therefore thy servant an understanding hard to judge thy people that I may discern between good and bad for who is able to judge this thy so great a people. Okay, now, now God appears to Solomon in a dream and he's asking Solomon, ask what you want. Now, isn't that a blank check? Yes, definitely. Imagine if God uh, says that to you. He comes in your dreams and he says, I can, uh, you know, I, I can, uh, uh, one thing that if you have to ask, what are we going to ask? Most of the time we will ask for the toughest, uh, you know, the, the toughest problem that I'm going through. I will ask the solution for it, right? Yes. Now, what is uh, Solomon asking? Solomon is asking, he's saying, God, put the ninth verse, sister. Hmm. Yeah. Give, Give therefore them. your servant an understanding heart. Now, what is, what is he asking? He's asking wisdom. Mm -hmm. Solomon is saying, Lord, give me wisdom. Now, why is he asking wisdom? He's saying, God, give me, give an understanding heart to you, to your servant. Why? What for? To judge your people that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this, thy so great a people? So, in other words, is Solomon uh, facing a, a, a people with, uh, with whom he has to, <coughs> whom he needs to lead with a lot of uh, understanding justice, like how his father David was leading. Mm -hmm. Right? That's what yes. you find him, uh, uh, that's what you uh, find him saying in the fourth verse. Sorry, come down in the, in the seventh, I think. Six and seven, yeah. Six and seven, yeah. Read it, sister. Yeah. And Solomon said, Thou hast showed unto thy servant David, my father, great mercy, according as he walked before thee in truth and in righteousness and in uprightness of heart with thee. And thou hast kept for him his great kindness that thou hast given him a son to sit on his throne as it is this day. Okay, so in other words, Solomon has been seeing his father, 
how his father david has been leading his has been leading people right yes, yes. how he has been leading uh, israel and and now solomon is saying uh, he's telling he's telling god god uh, you have uh, uh, been extremely kind to my father mm. so in other words solomon has has seen uh, has seen the glory of god whom david has been worshiping mm. that's why he says you've shown great mercy to your servant david my father because he walked before you in truth in righteousness and in uprightness of uh, heart so he say he saying god i have seen my father i uh, uh, walk in your glory and i have seen you show him kindness after kindness and that is the same thing that i want so in other words solomon's focus is where solomon's focus is on how well his father has been leading the king the kingdom okay how uh, uh, upright uh, how he, how he has been dealing with the uh, all those people and solomon is saying i i need wisdom to do that yeah okay now do you know uh, david was called a man after god's own heart yes right now we all know how david's relationship with the lord was isn't it yes david was a person who used to practice the presence of the lord that's why you see every time you know when when uh, uh, prophet samuel came to anoint uh, uh, the king of israel uh, when he came to jesse's house he found all his uh, brothers over there except david all of jesse's sons were there except david where was david david was in the wilderness tending the sheep and and you see the relationship that david had with the lord he uh, that's why you, when you read the psalms you get a clear understanding the kind of relationship david had with the lord isn't it hello yes sister yes sister so in other words when solomon is asking god for wisdom solomon solomon's focus is where is his focus on asking god for the solution is he focusing where is his focus is this is his focus on the god that david worships or is his focus on the uh, blessings that he has been seeing that he seeing his father david enjoy the blessings the blessings so solomon's intention when solomon is asking god for wisdom he is asking for wisdom for what reason to get his problem solved yes yes to uh, understand to judge his people yes with this that's yeah. why that's why he 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 says uh it is extremely difficult to lead this kind of people that's why he's saying uh, for who shall be uh, uh, look at the ninth verse for yeah. who is able to judge yes for who is able to judge this great people of yours yes so he has a problem here there is a situation for him he is not able to judge he is not able to lead he is not able to discern between good and evil how his father uh, david. david was doing okay yeah so he is asking god for wisdom and david was a person who depended on wisdom hmm that means david in other words depended on the lord on jesus okay now now see david uh, solomon asked for wisdom correct yes okay uh, come down sister scroll down look at the 10th verse and the speech pleased the lord that solomon had asked this thing the speech pleased the lord that means solomon what solomon asked of god god was extremely pleased that he asked for it are you understanding yes sister you know solomon without even realizing 
when he said give me an understanding heart when he said give me wisdom he did not even realize that he was asking god the father for jesus and that's exactly was the heart of god to give us his son this mm, god okay now every time you ask the father for jesus god is extremely pleased say so, say that again sister every time you ask the father for mm. jesus okay god the father is extremely pleased so but here um solomon is asking um to give the understanding which means he's asking for wisdom isn't it he is asking for wisdom yes okay right okay yes sister continue sister is, is it clear sister sister yes. lavi i don't want you to Uh, i want you to have complete understanding okay i want you to get this very very clear because this is very very important for us to understand yes sister you know sister the problem uh, the most of the time because of the wrong understanding we end up in wrong in 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 troubles so so in in that way if that is the case when our god is pleased now when we are saying Jesus Christ is made unto me wisdom righteousness sanctification and redemption in 1 Corinthians 1:30 he mm. said mm. so um which means wisdom is already given unto us right yes so here solomon is asking for wisdom mm. so is that um can you uh, clarify that see uh, sister solomon is asking for wisdom see christ had not yet come right until then yes today you and i no longer need to go and ask god okay for for wisdom for uh, righteousness because god the father has already fulfilled all that in christ jesus okay today okay. that's why that's why i said in the beginning today we are living in the covenant of grace yes, we are living yes. in jesus you and i are united in christ jesus So yes, if I am going and asking God give me wisdom that is not in alignment with his word. Yes. If I'm going and asking God make me righteous, uh, sanctify me, make me holy, that is not according to his word. Yes, 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 sister. Clear clear sister, clear very clear understanding sister. Thank you, thank you sister. Okay. So in other so here Solomon is asking the Lord he's asking god for whom he's asking god for jesus when he said wisdom the word of god says in 1 corinthians 130 that jesus is made unto me wisdom yes sister wisdom okay so so solomon did not even realize that he asked for jesus and god was so pleased to give him jesus because that's what that's what he wanted uh uh that's the re- that's the kind of relationship he wants right now yes. sister how many times uh you know uh now now let's say when we go to parents to our parents do we go to our parents uh when we only need something most uh, of the no, time it is like that the, yeah hmm. okay but when you start understanding how much your parents loves you how much your mother your father loves you now you are going and spending time with them not because you want something yes but you're going and spending time to to um, uh, receive that love from them to spend time with them because why you love spending time in their presence you want to be with them and you know even even before i could ask even before i have a need for it i know my parents will provide for me hasn't that been happening for for us right from our childhood yes our yes, parents yes. provide for us even before I, i i i have the need for it yes so if our parents can be so uh, loving and if our parents can think so much ahead for us how much do you think god does who has created us yes sister Okay that's why here you see he says and the speech pleased the lord that solomon had asked this thing and god said unto him look at the 11th verse 
Yes. Because you have asked this thing and have not asked for yourself long life, neither have you asked for riches for yourself, nor have you asked the life of your enemies, but have asked for yourself understanding to discern judgment. Oh, Behold, wow. I have done according to your words. Wow. God is telling him, Solomon, because you did not ask for the blessing, you asked for the source, I'm going to give you the source. Yeah, amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Now, now, sister, in Proverbs 3.16, what did we learn? Length of days is in her right hand, riches and honor riches in and her honor left, left hand. In whose hand? In wisdom's Jesus. hand. Wisdom. Okay. And who is wisdom? Jesus. Jesus. That's why, that's why, you know, God is telling him, you did not ask for long life. Long life is the blessing, right? Riches and honor, that's a blessing. Uh, protection from the enemies, that's a blessing. Yes. And he's saying, he's saying that you did not ask for the blessings, but rather, but in fact, you asked for the source. You asked for the blesser. I'm going to do exactly according to your words. Yes. Do, do you see that in 12? Yes. 12 verse? Yes. And he does not stop over there. huh? See yeah. what he says. Lo, I have given you a wise and understanding heart. I have given you a wise and understanding heart so that there has not been anyone like you before you, nor shall any like you arise after you. Okay. Okay, now yes. look at the 13th verse. Read it. And I have also given thee that... Pause, this... pause, pause. And I have also given you. I have also. Now, did he give him wisdom? Yes. So he gave him the source, right? Yes. He said, I have done according to your word. See, I have given you a wise and understanding heart. So that there has not been anyone like you before you, nor will anyone arise after you, like you. Yes. Okay. And then in the 13th verse, he says, and I have also given you what you have not asked. Mm -hmm. And what is it written over there? Both riches and honor. Both riches and honor. So, so that... So that there shall not be any among the kings like unto you all your days. Hmm. In other words, when Solomon asked for wisdom, length of days, riches and honor both came with Jesus. Are you, are you getting it? Yes, sister. Yes, sister. So, uh, God, God is saying what? God, what is God? Uh, what is God teaching us over here, sister? He yes. says, He says, the source of your blessing is in the person of Jesus. Mm -hmm. If you are in need of a job, if you are in need of anything. Whatever it might be, if you have Jesus and if you can stick to the source, you have everything you need. You don't have to see, sister, we, we waste our time asking God for things which God wants to, God has given to us as a gift. Yeah. Okay. So, so when, when my focus, when my focus is on the Lord, when my focus is on Jesus, when I am all the time practicing to live in his presence, when Jesus becomes my all, then everything that I need comes to me. Hmm. That's, what, that's what God is saying over here. And I have also given you that which you have not asked. He did not ask God for riches and honor. He did not ask God for length of days. He did not ask God for... Uh, 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 protection from his uh, enemies but he rather asked what wisdom wisdom so god is saying that 
if you can just uh, start seeking me that's what we learned in Pro- uh, matthew 6:33 right jesus saying yes. what seek first the kingdom of god kingdom and of his god. righteousness and who yes. is righteousness jesus so when i spend time in the word not to get blessings but to know who my creator is to know the heart of god for me then my focus becomes that god says that what you have not asked i am going to give that to you amen sister please yeah. me. sorry excuse me sister florita um thank you um i'm struggling a little bit with uh understanding because we we pray and praying is everything that we do and we pray so when you were saying is it like i don't understand actually to be honest should we not be asking should we not be asking should we not be saying dear lord help me with wisdom today to understand this situation whatever situation it is that you no know, that, that that is a wrong prayer sister that is not in accordance to what 1 corinthians 130 is saying so how do we rather, pray rather your words your prayer should be lord yes. lord jesus you dwell in me i dwell in you and jesus according to 1 corinthians 130 you are made wisdom unto me so today whatever circumstances i'm going to confront whatever situations are going to arise before me i thank you jesus that you have become my wisdom to solve to face those situations and you give me the right understanding you you have already given me how you you've already taught me what to say how to how to respond how to face those situations through your wisdom so we shouldn't be, be so you're saying we shouldn't be asking no why are you going sister do you believe do you go on asking jesus jesus heal me jesus heal me jesus heal me no because uh, God, uh, the word says uh, you have already healed yeah so sister say, thank you jesus we are healed sister joan did you did you get that yes 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 i'm i'm sister, listening sister florida i'm sister. processing as you're talking okay so, okay no problem no problem i want you to understand this because this is extremely extremely important okay this is to join when you ask uh, when you need a healing in your body do you go and ask jesus jesus please heal me i guess in a way that's probably what if you doing that if yeah. you're doing that then that is wrong let me show you why sister please give me 1 peter 224 sister lavi yeah Sister Joan, please read that scripture. Who his own self bare our sins in his body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. So, is Jesus going to heal you, Sister Joan? Yes. you did not read that you did not understand that scripture then read it once again very slowly word by word who his own self bear our sins in his who own bore, who un- bore our sins in his own body jesus jesus okay jesus. in his own Continue. body in the tree that we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness by whose stripes ye were healed by whose stripes you jesus. will be healed jesus okay by whose stripes you will be healed jesus jesus is stripes no no sister joan no. i want you to look at the screen i want you to look at the screen and tell okay. me what mistake i am making okay Um, by whose stripes you will be healed okay. is it written over there 
by whose stripes, sorry, sister, I'm just looking at a who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. You will be healed. Ye were, it says ye were healed. You will be healed. I will be healed. <laughs> Sister Joanne, is it saying, is it written over there, you will be healed, or is it written you were healed? You were healed. So you, okay. All right. Thank you, Jesus. You were healed. It is were, done. It is were, past tense. Right. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So if you are going and asking God once in a while, Jesus, please heal me, you are making a prayer of unbelief. Okay. You are telling you are you are telling Jesus, Jesus, only when I tell you to heal me, that's when I know you're going to heal me. Which is not in line with the word. So can Jesus I give you sorry, Sister Florida? So yeah. at the as an example, well, it's not an example. At the mm -hmm. moment, my niece and her husband uh, are trying to fall pregnant, and it's been quite a journey. Um mm -hmm. And so I keep them in my intercessory prayers every day. Mm. Mm. That, okay, is that, that's, okay, yes. Is that God's, is that appropriate? Sister, if, if you are praying for your, uh, for your loved one, whoever, okay, is, yes. is not able, who is not able to conceive, okay, if you are asking God, God, help them, uh, conceive God help them conceive or bless them with a child that's yes. a prayer of unbelief it's a prayer of unbelief okay yes you you are not in accordance with what the word is saying the word of God says that when you when you speak Jesus said what when you uh in Mark eleven twenty four, 24 he said what if you have faith as a mustard seed right you can say to this mountain so if, if, if that person is not able to conceive, it is because that infirmity, that spirit of infirmity is blocking that person. So all you have to do is take authority over that spirit of infirmity, which is blocking that person from uh, conceiving. You rebuke that spirit, cast it out and start speaking. Thank you, Jesus. You have blessed this person with a baby. You have blessed, not you will bless. But you have blessed this, uh, this uh, uh, couple with, with an anointed child, a child just like, uh, you know, a child who is anointed, uh, walking in your ways, who is a mighty, mighty uh, person of, of, your, of your kingdom. You start speaking in that way. That is called as intercession. Okay. Thank intercession you. does not mean that I go, I, I, I take all the petitions and I, uh, start uh, uh, taking it to God and saying, God, please do this for me. No. Intercession is where I am thanking God and praising God that Jesus has already accomplished everything for me. My every blessing is found in the person of Jesus. I understand. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I has your struggle ended now? It's, it's coming clearer. It's becoming more clearer. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, now let's go back. Let's go back to the same scripture. Okay, now, Sister Joanne, you are not going to pray. You're, you don't ask Jesus, heal me, heal me, heal me, right? No. Because no. you believe that Jesus has already healed you by his stripes. Okay, by his stripes. Okay, in the same way, in the same way, Jesus has been made wisdom unto you. Correct? Yes. Jesus has been made wisdom unto you. So if Jesus has been made wisdom unto you, and if you believe that Jesus is, is your wisdom, are you going to go and ask God, God, give me wisdom to live this day? No, because Jesus is all of those gifts. We already uh, have. Jesus is my wisdom. So when you need, when you need wisdom, when you need now, when you wake up in the morning and you say, Lord, uh, uh, help me. Uh, with wisdom to live this day. That's a wrong prayer. Instead of saying, Jesus, help me, give me wisdom to live this day. 
instead of saying that you've got to say jesus you are my wisdom i have perfect knowledge of every situation and circumstances that i come up against now what you do spend time in the word of god what are you doing when you are memorizing those scriptures when you are uh, spending time in learning those scriptures putting it in your heart you are actually now drawing out the wisdom that jesus okay that that wisdom which is present in you yes in the person of jesus so okay. let's say in the morning you are spending time reading the scriptures i overcome every evil with good i forgive one another just as christ has forgiven me now what are you doing that is called as tapping into the wisdom of god now during the course of your day if someone comes your uh, you know uh, your way your your driving and someone comes and bashes you from the uh, mm. from behind now instead of you uh, reacting angrily with, uh, on that person shouting and yelling at that person now you that wisdom which you believed that jesus has become for you now that wisdom is telling you have mercy on him yes that wisdom is telling you forgive him just as i have forgiven you thank you and you take a corresponding action instead of shouting instead of yelling you forgive that person you let him go lord yes sister i understand are you getting it yes yes definitely yes thank you thank you sister okay so that's how that's that's how sister we tap into his presence thank you jesus the lord thank you that's why that's why he is he is he is telling to solomon solomon you did not ask for any blessing you did not ask for long life you did not ask for wealth riches and honor but let me tell you because you asked for wisdom i'm also going to give you length of days i will also give you uh, riches and honor that there will be no one like you okay yes sister praise god thank you jesus very clear you sister it? yes joan you got it yes thank you thank you sister lavi and thank you sister florita they just um through me a little bit when you said that but i'm understanding it's clearer now so thank you okay so the, so now with this understanding sister the when you start uh, uh, going about your life you start taking decisions okay according to this truth now you will realize that you don't need to keep going and begging god to give you this to give you that whereas god is saying i love you so much that i have already made everything available for you even before you could see the need of need for it amen amen you know why we miss out on seeing god's provision because our focus is in the wrong place yeah. yes yes instead of our focus being on jesus our focus is somewhere else and we start using the promises of god just as a means to get my problem solved mm. whereas god is saying if you can just come to me you know jesus said what uh, come to me all you labor and who are heavy burdened right yes and i will give you rest what is that wisdom calling you to him wisdom is calling you and saying come to me i will give you rest i will cause you to rest but when when there is a chaos when there is a confusion when there is a a situation a problem what do we do we panic the first thing we do is we panic yeah. now when you when you panic and your heart begins to uh you know uh, start pounding you you start experiencing all those uh, you know palpitation and all those things uh, you know you experience how many times do you go and talk to your heart and you say heart be not troubled mm. what Very is that times. wisdom instead you know what what we do we will start blasting scriptures at that time thinking mm. oh you know uh, uh, this i'm going to come out of this i'm not going to be scared okay if you are scared if your heart you know if if you are sweating those are all what manifestations of fear right yes 
you're sweating you're panicking your your heart is racing so fast you're you're so scared now you start blasting the scriptures without even understanding what for because you're scared you now you're you're confessing the scriptures out of fear not out of trust in god's love mm-hmm. yeah so when you find yourself with all those uh, symptoms you've got to go and start telling your heart heart be not troubled jesus mm-hmm. is your wisdom come down amen please go because please. when you start panicking that's where every part of your body will start paining isn't it yeah please go so if i if i need any blessing where is it found it is found in the person of jesus if i've got jesus i've got everything i need and 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 if I, when i say if i if i've got jesus it means if i've got the word if i'm spending time in the word i'm spending time with jesus if i'm spending time reading the scriptures listening to the teachings i'm spending time with wisdom and yeah. the more you spend time with you know sister when you spend time with a person you start speaking that person's language that person's influence somewhere rubs on you yeah right mm-hmm. when when you are when you are spending time with a person who is a uh, heart who is always scared who is always fearful you will find yourself also speaking words of fear <laughs> but when you start spending time with a person who is strong in faith who who who's strong in the word now you will also start speaking the truth you will also start speaking faith how much more sister when you sp- when you spend time when you soak yourself in the word that's how you become wise and understanding the word begins to give you knowledge the word begins to give you uh, wisdom for your situation no matter what it is Hmm. Is it clear? Yes, sister. It is clear. Okay, so sister Shital has some question. I think. Yes, sister yes. Shital, do you have a question? Uh, yes, sister. Sister, you said that when we have Jesus, we have the wisdom, correct? Yes. Yes. So, uh, I'm trying to understand with regard to James one five. Hmm. which which says if any of you lack wisdom let him ask of god and uh, like if wisdom is jesus then why do we have to ask you said you okay. shouldn't ask and uh, if we have jesus we have uh, wisdom right sister sheetal we have we have learned this uh, in the english in the bangalore session i attended was- this uh, I listened to this class, but I could not follow this part. So I'm trying Which to understand. Which class? You're something. talking about this this topic? Yes, this this. No, no, I'm not talking about this one. topic. We we had learned we had learned James one five, uh, in the Bangalore uh, session, with Sister uh, Maria. I, I okay, I'll I explain it, it to I... you. I'll explain it to you. Okay, once again. Now, here James is writing. to to the people okay and he's mm-hmm. saying what if any of you lacks wisdom let him ask of god please understand we've always got to read the scriptures in the context not out of context yes okay now yeah. is 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 james preaching the gospel to them is james telling them that see christ is your wisdom if any of you lacks christ let him ask of god who gives to him who gives to all liberally and without reproach okay so i i, I words, get it yes yeah yeah in other words james is telling to those people see if you lack wisdom that's because uh, you you don't you don't believe in christ jesus yeah. is the jesus is your wisdom and if any of you lacks wisdom let him ask of god Now today sister Sheetal if you are in Christ Jesus are you going to ask first of all the question is do you lack wisdom No I have wisdom through Christ 
you know why you know sister we should be able to ask ourselves these questions only when we are uh, spending time with the scriptures no the holy spirit will start teaching you to start seeing the scriptures in this way he will open your understanding so the first question i need to ask myself is do i have to keep on asking uh, for wisdom instead of saying do i have to keep on sh should i ask god for wisdom the question you should ask yourself is do i lack wisdom first of all no sister no and if if the answer is no then you already have the answer to the other question <laughs> yes sister yes see that is the wisdom of god wisdom of god is to know asking the right question okay sister yeah thank you now i'm sure you will never forget this no <laughs> <laughs> thank no, you it is it is very uh, very important sister uh, even see when when you are saying through we confess the wisdom and uh, concerning wisdom and guidance Yeah, and it says, yes. Jesus Christ made unto me wisdom, righteousness, sanctification. We are confessing it, but you know, um, now that you are saying about um, wisdom is a person, grace is a person who is Jesus Himself. It makes it makes a lot of sense, sister, and that, uh, it's actually not sense. It is the truth. Yes, and yes. And that is the way. It, and that's where we are missing it out. correct praise god see you know uh, the the reason why we get the we 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 think this question you know we have this question that should i keep should i have to ask god why is he saying we should keep uh, we should ask god for wisdom it's because we have never seen wisdom we've never imagined wisdom to be a person mm that's why that's why the scripture is so clearly uh, telling us that's why you see uh, the scripture is very clear sister and if if i have, if if i have not understood something it does not mean that i don't have the wisdom it means if i have not understood it that means i have somewhere failed to renew my mind yeah and the only way to renew my mind is through the word of god so if if i'm struggling to understand that means i don't have to go and ask god to give me more and more of wisdom all i have to do is spend more time in his wisdom when i spend time in his wisdom when i spend time in his word that is jesus i start becoming wise i start becoming i i start receiving understanding sister if you see if you see today uh if if i am able to share all this okay it is it is only and only because the spirit of god teaches me when i spend time in his word yes when when you are spending time when you are with willing now sister when someone comes into your house whom you really love okay your best friend when they come when they come to your house now don't you want to spend time with your best friend yes you will you will uh, you will um, uh, use every opportunity you will find every way possible to spend time with your friend yes why because you enjoy that person's presence right yes in the same way if if i love jesus for if i love jesus i i, I will want to spend time with him i will want to uh, communicate with him listen to him what he thinks of me what he wants to tell me and tell him what i want to speak what i uh, what i experience what i feel mm. when jesus becomes real to us in that way no sister mm -hmm. that will solve all the problem today jesus has not become real for us because we can only see him in the word we can't see him physically mm, yeah. that's why most of the time we fail to recognize his presence with us very true 
if you ever want to learn how to practice the presence of god no go and read the life of joseph go and read the life of david mm -hmm. these were people who were not needed by anyone around all they had was god and they spent time that's why you see the the result of what david's uh, you know practicing the presence of god resulted in us having received 150 chapters of the psalms today today we worship we praise god through psalms isn't it yes and and when do you think david wrote all those when he was in the presence of the lord when he would spend time talking to the lord listening from god is it clear for yes, everyone thank you thank you sister florica praise god sister um you can go and listen to this teaching okay uh on youtube we did this teaching uh, last night okay last night and day before uh you can go on to the youtube and those who have uh, not heard this teaching before please go and listen those maybe those who joined class late today you all you all can go and listen to this teaching yes yes i, I will put that praise god Yeah. Yes, Thank sister Lavi, over to you. Thank you, sister. So, keep all the questions ready. Uh, maybe uh, next Saturday. Is that okay, sister? Sister, sister Florida. What, sister? Your voice uh, was break. Okay, so is the questions like you know we can keep the questions and come back next week. Yeah, you you can do that. If you yeah. have any questions, you can ask also. No problem. Yeah. Do you have any questions, anyone? If not, keep the questions. We I will send you the link for the teachings today. And if you have questions, then next week when Sister Florita comes, you can ask. Okay. So let's um, end with a closing prayer. Thank you so much, Sister Florita. It was really good. and for me it is a really the truth what you have spoken with the word of god and to understand what is grace and to understand um what is mercy and to know that grace is a person wisdom is a person who is jesus himself which now is god confess wisdom and guidance concerning world everything is what we are what we have not what we going to ask Praise so, God. Thank you thank so you much Jesus. for that understanding uh for each and every one of us and um the blessings and anointing of the uh, Lord is upon you and your family and thank you so much sister for your time that you have uh, come and shared the word of God with us. So heavenly father we thank you and we praise you Lord Jesus thank you holy spirit for giving us each and every one the understanding. Now that we are able to understand the word what you are speaking to us through your word in the bible thank you lord for this moment thank you lord for this time that you have given us and lord i we release the anointing to each and every one of the of your children who is going to listen and who was who was here right now who has joined they have understood the word understood that grace understood the mercy understood the wisdom and knowledge thank you lord jesus for sister florita for us thank you lord that we are able to now go and understand the same word and to now to speak not what we see and what we hear but to speak that understanding and wisdom what you have already given us and for every situation you with the wisdom that you are given us we are using it for your glory through this jesus christ we pray amen 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 amen, amen. 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 thank you jesus thank you. god bless you. you everyone god bless everyone
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Florida. Thank you, Sister.